All right, so I finally got fed up with uh, the performance of my jet boat that I just got lettered, pump action. So <clears throat> I actually bought this boat last year. Uh, it was in the fall. We managed to take it out a couple times. It's a 1997 jet craft. Uh, this one in particular was an old patrol boat uh, in Oklahoma. Uh, I guess it was an Oklahoma uh, State Patrol and they had the light bar mounted up there. Since then, you know, last uh, last year, I, even over, over the winter, I got this Bimini top. It was a universal that fit on the existing rails that were inside of uh, inside of the the hull of the boat there. So, yeah, all aluminum, uh, all welded. I mean, everything is welded. All these rails are all real beefy aluminum welded. <laughs> the boat is like a tank, an absolute tank. It's got headlights, uh, walk-through windshield. Down here, storage in live well. The live well is fed with the uh, fed by the main jet pump. Inboard, it's a Chevy 350 <laughs> with Vortec heads. It's a roller motor, but it has all the old instead of the serpentine. It's got all the old V-belt, double V-belt uh, accessories water-cooled manifold so it's got a, a closed cooling system so it's got a log takes regular radiator fluid dual batteries um, yeah it's an it's a good engine good platform um, the pump is a three-stage pump which is kind of uh, an older style um, so there's three statters and three impellers inside of that and uh, what I have in here now is two 19s and then a a 20, a two 19 degree impellers for stage one and two and then stage three is a I believe it's a 22 degree impeller um, and so that is supposed to be what works with this motor but this thing these these impellers are worn uh, they're slipping pretty bad this thing has literally no hole shot at all so um, so I'm gonna fix it I'm gonna fix it all up and, and uh, I decided that the first logical step uh, was going to be to call up uh, Schlegel Marine out in uh, Boise, Idaho, um, and talk to them about getting another, uh, uh, getting a different impeller for it, um, and that's what I'm going to be working on tonight. So this is uh, this is the new impeller that's uh, made by Scott in New Zealand. Uh, <clears throat> instead of the impellers that are in there now, there are four bladers. This is a three, and uh, and it's also bullet shaped, so it's a lot longer. So. I am going to swap that impeller out. That'll go into the first position of the stack. So I've had this uh, pump apart before last fall to change all the cutlass bearings and seals and everything. So I'm familiar with taking it apart, but um, anyway. So I'll just use impacts to loosen up the uh, steering. Just using a sacrificial mallet here to try to coax these things apart. So that uh, the steering yoke is is loosened up enough to where that shaft is moving inside of there. Um, I think I got to take this thing the rest of the way out.
that should be free to come off. So, now that one's done. Uh, the next one I guess we can take off up here is, uh, this is the steering linkage where it comes down into this very awkward plate. At some point in the future I'm going to fix this here too. <clears throat> so, originally I was going to wait until I had all my lathe and welding gear all set up and ready to go to do the repair on the other two impellers, but we're thinking about taking the boat tomorrow so I just want to slap this impeller in and see what it does with just this one. Um, and then I can kind of compare that to how uh, the boat performs after all of them are fixed. So for now, a quick one, quick win on this. Like I backed that, that bolt up against the, the nut too much there, and it tightened up on me while I was in reverse, so. Alright, so, now that the reverse bucket and the bucket linkage is free from this, um, we can tip that up, and then down under here, We'll just start taking this whole stack apart. So the first things that come off here, uh, or that we'll take off, is going to be the um, the diverter nozzle. Uh, this is a stock nozzle, so this is a 92. I know that because it's in like the VIN number uh, of sorts for the boat, um, and it's the stock nozzle that comes with it. But it is the the better of the two designs. I think the other nozzle was more like a ball and did not have the straight section on it. And, uh, didn't perform as, as well, so this is a, a, a the better of the two that were made by KEM. So we'll just zip these uh, these off real quick for. Uh, comes off as one piece I just leave uh, you know the ball joint will come out of there as well but it helps to just bring that whole thing off as one piece um, yep so. <clears throat> and then right after on the other side of this sacrificial anode, anode under here um, this is the last statter in the stack that uh, I believe is a lot longer than all the others that really gets that flow straightened out and everything um, so even the reverser and all of the <clears throat> these two uh, bolts back here, the smaller of the two right behind here, um, those are eccentrics, and that lets you adjust this thing. And, and I've been adjusting on it. The linkage doesn't work very well. The reverser bucket doesn't work very well. Um, the whole thing's kind of a <clears throat> kind of a junky design uh, that I don't care for a whole lot. So again, that'll be one of our upcoming projects. Um, okay, so. I guess next thing, oh, and it looks like I will have to take this one off as well.
probably not the best to be beating on the end of the bolts here, but uh, if I tighten those end, of, end threads up a little bit, I can just hit them with a, a tap and open them back up. And they're not coming out as, uh, not coming out very, very hard. So I'm not, I'm not having to really beat on them. All right, so uh, let me try to tap this thing off here. That already loose. All right. Yeah. All right. So these shafts here are loose, and they can kind of be pushed back up in there. So I think they'll almost go through those bushings, if I remember from before. And then now we just need to pull these out here. I think some of them I can get with the quick wrench here. sure that I give them some extra torque this time around. Uh, I guess before we uh, relax all the pressure on this thing, I ought to go ahead and disconnect the uh, spring here. That reverser bucket. Just leave that on that bracket. wiggling on this uh, last stator section so this thing is going to be kind of a little artificially tightened on here because these two tubes that are in these last ears when that pump is fully pressurized it allows some of that super pressurized water to make its way back into the engine to do some of the cooling and uh, some of the other things so I'll just give it wiggles here But one side give there a little bit. Side is what's got us, got us stuck here.
Well, I even soaked uh, everything down with a little PB blaster, but obviously not enough. So I remember these, um, when I changed the O-rings, these were a nice tight press fit. And it seems they still are. So we'll give them a little penetrating oil. <clears throat> a few more wiggles. And I'm tempted to go get a bigger hammer. fairly certain that's that. Uh -uh. Alright. Uno momento. <laughs> 